Well, it has been a crazy couple of days to be a Nintendo fan. First of all, we got the announcement of the Alarmo, the Nintendo alarm clock, which is completely crazy in itself. And then, of course, we got the announcement of the Nintendo Switch online playtest program. It's an application process to be part of this playtest program that's shrouded in mystery. As you can see by the title, I have related that to Switch 2 because that's what a lot of chatter online is talking about. And I'm going to give a few reasons in this video and a few thoughts and ideas of what I think this could be, what people are talking about online, and the one reason at the end of the video why this is very, very strange. So first up, we'll get the big talking point out of the way, and it's Nintendo Switch 2. Does this have anything to do with Nintendo Switch 2? So let's look at the wording of this. It's a playtest for Nintendo's online system. Now, that obviously doesn't necessarily have anything to do with Switch 2. In a physical sense, obviously it's not going to have to. You're going to be playing this on original Switch hardware. But why I think some of the chatter is warranted that this has something to do with Switch 2 is that we know the announcement for Nintendo Switch 2 is coming shortly. They said they would be announcing the system before the end of the physical year. That's obviously fast approaching. We're now into the second half of the physical year and it's about time we're going to find out something about Switch 2. And during the announcement of Switch 2 and the preceding weeks where they're giving out information, Part of me thinks they're obviously going to touch on their online system, they're going to maybe revamp it, bring things a bit more up to date, put in some new systems, whatever it is, and that's going to be part of the selling features of Switch 2. But obviously Nintendo now has this integrated online system like the other console manufacturers, so it would only be natural that whatever systems they're putting in place will also have to work in conjunction with the original Switch. So could it be that this announcement is some way related to Switch 2, as in between now and the date that the playtest goes live, we may be going to get a direct or some information on what Switch 2 is, some of its software or capabilities and new brand new online system for it. I'd say there is a possibility. This could be a way to stress test it and that's why they're being secretive about this. It could be an option. But what about what that online system actually is? What is this playtest going to be for? And what's going to happen on the original Switch or Switch 2 if it is anything to do with that? And the main consensus that I'm seeing online is that this could be a streaming service or part of a streaming system. We know Xbox obviously has Game Pass. It's been pretty successful with that in terms of its streaming capabilities. PlayStation, previously PlayStation Now, and now the PlayStation Plus catalog, you can stream a lot of different games. And all of these companies and these online components all have a tiered system. We even have that with the Nintendo Switch, but the difference is that the tiers for Sony and Microsoft both include some kind of streaming element to them, and it might be something that Nintendo is going to start getting on board with. We of course have seen streaming on the Nintendo Switch, I believe it was some of the Resident Evil games were available for streaming, but it wasn't very good, I think it was limited to Japan if I remember correctly, so perhaps this is going to be part of your Nintendo Switch online package now at the top tier, and that's why they're wanting to introduce it, and that is something that I can see being tied into a Switch 2 announcement, and maybe that is why we haven't heard anything, because they're going to announce the Switch 2 before this playtest goes live, and during the announcement they're going to say this console is capable of X, Y and Z and it's also going to have game streaming on it and you'll be able to test that out on Nintendo Switch as well so you're going to be able to not be left in the dark if you just have a Switch and you don't have the money to upgrade as of yet. Who knows, at the moment it is all speculation and that's what's really fun about this and I'm hoping it's not something really disappointing and a real letdown after the speculation is running wild because they have left the door open for people to speculate. The other thing that's very strange about this being a possible Switch 2 related thing is on all their messaging so far coming out, they've been saying this has nothing to do with Switch 2, Switch 2 or the next generation of Nintendo system won't be talked about or announced at this Direct or whatever it is. There's no mention of that on this announcement, so it does make me kind of question what's going on. 
what are some of the other theories then? So as well as something to do with Switch 2, as well as a streaming service, I've heard speculation or seen speculation on social media that this could be some type of Miiverse type of application. We know earlier in the year that the Twitter support for Nintendo Switch was taken away and maybe Nintendo is looking at this and thinking, look, we have the guts of Miiverse ready to go and we don't want to leave it up to these other bigger companies for our fans to be able to share content and it's something that we can integrate in ourselves. It would be quite interesting, I personally don't see it being a Miiverse style social media network or anything like that, but it would be interesting if they do try to go down that route again. Another idea that I have, and I just had this one myself, it may be completely crazy or sound completely nuts to people, but this is something I've kind of wanted Nintendo to do for a while, and that is to make this a Nintendo Direct app, and perhaps that's again why they're being secretive about it. There may be a Direct that's on its way and they don't want to say about it, but what do I mean by a Nintendo Direct app? Well, what I mean is you'll be able to live stream the Nintendo Direct on your Switch through this application, and then afterwards, maybe for a period of six or seven days, you're going to have access to what would have originally been something like an E3 show floor, where you'll be able to stream demos, watch different trailers or behind the scenes footage, and you're only going to get access to this if you're a top tier subscriber on Nintendo's online system. I think this would bring a bit of the fun and joy back that's been missing from E3, getting those hands-on previews, but instead of putting the press in there as a middleman, this could completely cut that out and have it that actual players are getting their hands on these games and able to test things out. I would really love that. I don't think that's going to be what it is, but I would really love it nonetheless. The reason why I think Nintendo would go for something like this as well is because if that's all done through streaming and there's no actual hardware or kind of software on your system, no one's going to be able to have a look at the code. No one's going to be able to look in there and see what's going on. It'll be less invasive and less susceptible to piracy or things like that. So it would be an interesting idea. And of course, it could also just be an online test for another game. There are rumours swirling that Switch 2's announcement or a Direct is coming soon. Who knows, maybe there's a game that's coming up that we don't know about, or maybe it's the online test for a multiplayer component of the new Metroid Prime, and they just don't want to tell us exactly what that is yet, because they're about to announce it in a Direct or a trailer or something that's going to be shown in the next couple of weeks, and that's actually secretly what we're all signing up for. Or maybe it's a brand new game. There's maybe a Animal Crossing game out there that's a massive multiplayer online game that we don't know about that hasn't been announced yet, and we've all just, unbeknown to us, signed up to be test players in that. Who knows? And I said at the start of the video, I was going to say about one piece of information that makes this really strange and different. And I have touched on it a little bit throughout the video, but it's the fact that Nintendo aren't saying anything about this. We've had play tests for the like of Splatoon or ARMS in the past. This just feels a little bit different. They're being secretive. There has to be some type of reason behind it. I think people are going to be quite let down if it's something really minor. And it would beg the question of why wouldn't they just say what it was in the first place? Instead of being secretive about it, I have signed up for the program. I got accepted, so I'll be able to look at it and tell you all what it is when the time comes. But when you sign up for it, it still doesn't tell you anything. I believe it says to come back on the 21st of October for more information. So obviously that's a few days away as of yet so maybe between now and then we'll be expecting a direct or some kind of announcement and that'll make things more clear but let me know in the comments below definitely sound off what you think this is is it switch 2 is it a streaming service is it something completely wild i haven't mentioned in this video i'll reply back to anyone that comments below and we'll get a good discussion going about what this potentially is i'll see you all in the next one